इतने सवाल guys having a great day today you asked it and i'm delivering actually i asked you guys you asked me so i could answer them anyway q and a jump back on jump so guys before we begin today's episode i have a disclaimer i will be making fun of some people asking weird questions or stupid questions uh huh this my shit but know that it's only my opinion and i will make fun just for you know entertainment purpose so please don't be offended and if you are offended i apologize in advance i love you all the first question is from maria khuzaima what is your age and date of birth omae wa mo shindeiru nani ने मतलब जान के क्या करोगी क्या नहीं क्या करोगी क्या केक लेके आओगी मेरे बर्थडे पे मतलब एक सवाल एक सवाल पूछना था प्रोफाइल जाके देख लेती प्लीज भाई मैं भाई समझ के बोल रहा हूँ दोस्तों दिल से लगता है भाई आप समझ ही सकते हो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बाय अब्दुल कादर हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट इज टू सर्वाइव इन गॉ Well, I will answer this question with a bit of seriousness. Um if you're coming here with the single sole purpose of sending money back home to your family members in India or somewhere else, please don't come. Your life will be immensely difficult. But on the contrary, if you have a goal in life you want to achieve something then probably there's no other place better than golf. So by all means choose wisely. Next question. This is one of my best school friends Nicole. Uh why don't you invite Husaina in your videos? Well, since I have a larger audience than her, she's the one who should be calling me, dude. All right. Uh next question is anonymous. Why do you always start up with what is up people of this universe? Well, uh, my goal is to reach out to all the 7 plus billion people on earth and so you know from now i am kind of like mentioning every one of them so that's kind of my vision so i keep on practicing that way anyway moving on this question is by hussein bhai no literally that's his name on his bio hussein bhai he calls himself bhai or maybe his surname is bhai i have no clue how is your experience in current pandemic situation and what do you suggest well hussein bhai my experience has been spectacular really i have no words to express how thankful i am for this situation because it has enabled me to learn new things to grasp more skills you know and i'm thankful in the sense that it has brought so much opportunity in my life now to do what i love and you guys can see that right i'm making more videos than i used to i'm learning new things having more clarity in my mind than ever possible and you know like improving my thought process my mindset my perspective all in all generally growing as a person so i'm really thankful for that okay next up is from nafisa lukmani how did you gain followers and what inspired you at first i remember i used to use instagram as a platform to connect with my family and friends only you know that was the time um back in 2015 i used to run a tech startup company um in india and i was running it for over a year probably a year and a half and Um I decided I realized that this was not you know this was not for me to go ahead with so I decided to shut it down and I shut it down in mid 2016 or something and and then it just struck me that Instagram has become a platform where you can leverage to grow your career so that was the day I decided to take Instagram seriously and do something about it but the important thing is what i keep in mind is that i want to make a legacy out of this so instead of you know worrying or pitying about a single content not being monetized i rather look at the bigger picture and think that i have a long way to go ahead and when i look at newcomers on instagram who just started it and start selling and they have the expectation to make money instantly and become someone within just few months it just appalls me it just makes me crazy 
Like how do you have the expectation? एक scheme है. अमीरों की scheme मेरे हाथ लगी है. पच्चीस दिन में पैसा double. पच्चीस दिन में पैसा double. You've just put in few months of your life on on something that you want to build as a career forever, and you start expecting in few months. No, dude. And when let's move forward. चल बस. लाइक है क्या? काम करने दे. This one's from Bohra Shoutouts. Um, how long it took for you to be so confident on camera, bhai? Tips do na. Aye. Okay, this one's anonymous. What's your profession and what do you do for your bread and butter? Firstly, I'm not a fan of B&B. Secondly, I run my dad's business. We're one of the top AC contractors in Kuwait. So that's how I have my livelihood currently. Okay, this one's from Tahir Ghee. Do you use pure cow ghee at home? If yes, why are you still waiting to check out my page? Nahi, ha, nahi. Aap pehle marketing kar le, theek hai? Main kyun nahi baad mein aata hu? Main chale jata hu. Aapka video laga deta hu pehle. Aap pehle marketing kar lo. Ruk jata hu main, theek hai? आइए आइए ताजा ताजा ताहिर का घी मुफ्त में लेके जाइए भाई ताहिर का घी नहीं है ये गाय का है ससुरा हम का बोला ताहिर का घी है पब्लिक वापस आएगी मैं तब तक वेट कर रही इधर ही मेरे को किधर जाने के मेरे को थोड़े के दूसरा काम है फ्राइडे बाजार खोल रखा है मैंने इधर जस्ट किडिंग ब्रो आई एम नॉट अ फैन ऑफ घी ओ आई वुड नेवर एवर ऑर्डर इदर फ्रॉम यू और एनीवन इन दिस वर्ल्ड माय मॉम वुड आई वुड लाइक आई वुड टेल हर दैट देयर इज सम काऊ घी from tahir okay um our bohra planet says not a question but i want to give you a suggestion watch jim carrey movies if you haven't bhai hamara bachpan jim carrey ki movies mein nikla hai you know the 90s kid if you have been watched jim carrey's movie okay hakim obri one of my dear friends how do you manage so much of work load bro cricket insta coffee show office videos bhai jaan ne meri mehnat ko mehsoos kiya itni khushi itni khushi बट दिल में जब एक चाह एक ड्राइव आ जाती है ना तो कोई काम बड़ा नहीं लगता हो जाता है और तब वक्त कम लगने लगता है समझ रहे हैं आप जस्ट टिप फॉर एवरी वन स्टार्टिंग और इज देर मेड वे लव यू वर्क एंड यू विल एंड अप डूइंग दैट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अ डे नॉन स्टॉप एंड यू विल थिंक दैट यू हैव लेस टाइम यू स्टिल वॉन्ट कीप डूइंग दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मुफद्दल कोई माँ का नाम नहीं बाप का नाम नहीं सर नहीं कुछ नहीं मुफद्दल बस हाउ डू मैनेज ब्लॉग वर्क फैमिली टाइम जिम जिम वन एफ आई एवर कॉन्ट टू जिम आई मीन आई हैव बट इट्स बिन मोर देन ईयर और समथिंग आई हैव बिन टू जिम जिम कहाँ से आया गया मैंने एक भी स्टोरी नहीं डाली जिम एनी वे उसके अलावा जो भी क्वेश्चन है तुम्हारा आई हैलरेडी आंसर दैट प्रीवियसली सो वेरी गुड Radhia Rashid asked me what are the two biggest mistakes of your life that you regret it's a deep question well the first one is it's not a it's not a mistake but it's a missed chance when i had gone to college back in march 2010 i studied there for 4 years i dropped one year because i couldn't submit the exam form in time and so i had to repeat one year become kiya kuch badi baat nahi but i don't know why it never clicked me to go and have a part time or even a full time job and make some money and gain awful lot of experience you know i kind of regret that because i was in college i was having freedom i could do that i had the time to do it you know i didn't have a lot of responsibilities so Thanks for asking though. Second regret or mistake or whatever is that sometimes I feel that all of this that I do I could have started a tad bit earlier. You know, maybe a year or two earlier and I would have been in a different place maybe. But today uh, the more I grow the more I think that that's not true because it could have been completely different. Maybe I had started a bit earlier and thought of that this not working for me and I, I would have stopped it. So whatever happens happens at the right time. and i have no issues with where i am today <sighs> pomegranate flavor anonymous tell us about your marriage with husaina um what can i say it's been the most life changing uh, event for me i can proudly say that i was a complete mess before i met her she's one of the biggest reasons i am where i am today the kind of trust and confidence that she's shown in me has been a major reflection upon my life choices i can't thank enough next question hakim sadikot how do you sell a product in the market well i'm not a salesman but if you ask me about what i believe is the best way to sell a product is by providing more value to the customer than they're paying for 
period. I totally believe that. That's the best way to move ahead. One of my closest friends, Dustin Beat, she's asked me, what tips do you have for better photo styling? Um, I'm not a photographer by any length of imagination, but if you ask me, I think um, the best tip I could give is using depth to its true advantage. You're gonna get killer shots with that. Okay, this one's from my wife. How much do you love me? She's asking, you wanna see? How much do you love me? How much do you really care? I touched my heart, spread my arms and said All the way to there Okay, this one's asked by Cupcaking Around. What motivated you to open your own YouTube channel? Well, it may come as a shock, but I first opened my YouTube channel back in 2010. At that time, I used to teach how to build websites, <laughs> crazily enough. And so I created a few videos on that topic and I uploaded them on YouTube in, in 2010. Funnily enough, if any of you still hate my accent, which I don't really care, but if you think it's fake or, you know, just because you're following me today or since a year or since two years go and check my first video on youtube my first ever video on youtube which is in 2010 that's 10 years ago and you will find that my accent was the same so yeah this question is from sakina murtaza khandwawala what is your biggest life lesson um the biggest lesson i feel is the only way to optimally win in life is through kindness and hard work period like if you don't put in the hard work you're not gonna win if you're not kind enough, you're not gonna win. You think you've won by playing games or being evil or crude, but you've not, really, you've not won. Think about that. Um, Yusuf Dawi is asking, are shrimps halal or haram? Well, halal or not, shrimps are just straight up weird, dude. Just don't talk about shrimps. I feel like puking every time I see it. Ugh. Hussein KS is asking, when will you visit Saudi Arabia? And please make a travel vlog. Bye. People are calling me on the tour. I will also go to the world tour. They will also go to me. They will also go to the stage. They will also go to the limousine. They will also go to the public. It was a dream. It was a dream. Alright. Um, today's last question. And I kept the best one for last, obviously. Um, so, the, let me read the question, alright? I mean, it's not a question, but it's also a statement or kind of message or something. But this one's from Khadija. Um, I have a question for you. I'm not bragging, but I've seen people troll you on your accent and your story. I won't lie. But I've seen people who have named groups after your name to laugh on your content, and it's really shameful. I honestly pity those people because I think some of those people are followed by you, and I guess you know them. So basically, it's your friends or someone you know bitching at your back. How would you like to respond to them Please answer this in your Q&A. P.S. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Don't give a shit about what people think. <sighs> well, the thing is, I know a lot of people um, sometimes intentionally, unintentionally, they troll me or they laugh at me or laugh at my work. Um, they might not want to do that. You know, they're just doing it for fun or whatever reason. But I believe, I truly believe that apart from my closest friends who just do it for the fun sake of it and not to harass me or embarrass me or troll me, um, apart from them, the ones who do this, I, I truly believe this, that people will only hate you if you have something worthy enough that they can hate for. So um, this is actually their way of showing me that I am doing something great in life and I, I don't have to stop for even a second. And people who do this, it's their choice. Um, I'm not gonna stop them. Do whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable. You make group, you laugh about my work, you laugh at me. I don't really care genuinely. What I care about is, you know, like I genuinely feel sad for such people because why would you spend time consuming someone's content and then hating on it spreading hate towards other people as well while wasting that time while you could do something better with your life like you could improve your life in that time but you wouldn't do that you would rather pull someone else down how upsetting your life would be if you're doing that so that's something to ponder on like come out of this zone where you are hating someone or you're spending time consuming someone's content just for the hatred, we're made to spread love and not hate uh, and the world will be a better place around you and that's not the right way to live. Take some responsibilities, meaning to life lies in responsibilities. So that's what I would want to talk about. 
Anyway, that's all for today's Q&A session, guys. Thank you all who have sent in your questions. I really, really appreciate and respect that you guys put in your valuable time into asking me questions. I was not able to, you know, answer all the questions because I received more than 40 questions. So it was really difficult to fit all of that into one video. If you guys love this one, I will make a second video to answer all the rest of the questions. Uh, but I chose the most important questions that I thought and I've answered them in this video. If you like it, please share, like, subscribe and comment down below. Thank you for watching. Peace.